All right, so you're looking to get your CCNA. You don't know where to start. You're very confused. You want some sort of guidelines, some sort of roadmap. I'm the guy for you. So the first thing you need to do is to schedule your exam. Don't waste any time getting study material. Don't waste any time buying a bunch of books. The first thing you need to do if you want to get your CCNA is to actually pay the exam, schedule it, and just get it over with. As simple as that. That's the number one step you need to do. So you're probably wondering when and, and when should I schedule this exam, right? So there's a lot of debate on this. For me, it took me a year to actually get my CCNA, but that's from back and forth, not really studying, kind of taking breaks, not taking it seriously, and actually never studying, and actually never even booking that exam. So um, it depends on how much free time you have, right? So let's say if you have about three hours a day to study, you can probably get your CCNA in a, under 100 days, easily. So let's say you have about three hours of study, I'll schedule your exam 100 days from now, right? So the first thing you need to do is get that exam scheduled. So for step number two is to get that study material. Um, you're gonna need four things, right? You're gonna need a course tutorial, like some sort of video course that you can find on Udemy. Number two is you're gonna need Boson study exams, right? That's, that's very important. Number three, get the most up-to-date CCNA uh, book. And number four, get a bunch of flashcards. That's all you need. Um, but the first thing I'd recommend is to get that video course because that's basically will teach you basically everything you need to know um, from start to finish, right? And I highly recommend going through Udemy and I'll leave a link to the one I took down below just if you guys are wondering. So once you have all the material, this is how I go about setting. First things first is to go through the video course material, right? And there's gonna be labs in that course, right? So it'll teach you all the technical jargon, right? All the, the, the definitions of things, what they are, what they do, what's the purpose of, of them, right? And they'll also give you like labs to work on and spend a lot of time on those labs, right? And when you're doing those labs, I want you guys to break stuff and fix it. That itself is so critical to learning because let's say you're configuring a router, right? And you shut down the port and you turn it back up and you're just like trying to fix things. You don't know what's going on. That time that you're trying to fix things is really where the learning accelerates to a high level because you can you can watch video after video and after a while, when you're watching videos, you might treat it like a show, right? You'll just be kind of like mindlessly watching, but you're not actually learning. And I've spent a lot of time doing that. I've spent time, too much time almost, just looking at the video, not taking it seriously and just moving on. What I recommend is while you have the video up, open up like a simulation lab on Packet Tracer and actually look, figure out what the, the person's doing, run some of the show commands, like go, like do what the instructor's doing as while you're on Packet Tracer, right? So you can actually get the hands-on experience. And that makes so much of a difference. You guys don't even understand. Like I spent years studying for this exam and I wasted so much time. And if there's one thing I take away with you is do a, a ton of labs. And I highly recommend you do the labs continuously so you keep doing them like every day just do go over the little stuff right maybe build your own like little um network architecture it's it's really fun guys trust me i love working on packet tracer and I'll, I'll probably make some more videos on like some of the labs you guys can create that will help you guys learn so so yeah guys just get packet tracer get the um lab materials and everything and just have fun like literally play around treat it like a video game right like the time you spend learning the time you spent actually doing is really where the learning starts like don't don't be the person who's like mindlessly watching the videos and just does nothing, right? You're not gonna learn that way. So now you have to remember um, for the CCNA, it's really a multiple choice exam, uh, right? So it's just a bunch of questions. So you gotta get, you gotta actually get good at actually passing your exams, right? That's that's a skill of its own, right? Like you can have all the technical knowledge, but if you bat if you're bad at like actually taking exams, you're not gonna do well on the exam because it's very fast paced. There's like 101 questions, if I remember, like 101. And it's just a lot of questions thrown at you in a very short period of time. So you have to kind of navigate that in a very specific manner, right? So that's where the boson exams really help, right? Because they'll give you a simulation of what to expect during the exam prep, right? And only do the boson exams. Only do those boson exams once you're completely done with the video course and you've done a ton of labs and you're very confident in your knowledge, right? And then you finally take that exam and then you're probably gonna do bad on that first exam, right? You might get like a 50%, 60%, who knows, right? 
But once you do that exam, it's going to tell you all the weaknesses you have in that curriculum, right? In, 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 that, in that exam. So once you look, go through all those little basic things, you'll realize, okay, okay, I'm bad at automation. Okay, I'm bad at um, uh, data link layer stuff. So you go through all the stuff that you're bad at and then go through that course material, go through the sections where you did bad out on the exam and rewatch those courses, see what you did wrong. Look at the questions, see why the answer is what it is. Sometimes you might look at the, the question and then the answer, you're like, that doesn't make any sense. So what you need to do is actually research the question, research the answer, like do a bunch of studying. It's a lot of repetitive work, right? You might feel like you're not making progress, but trust me, those, those little things make a huge difference, right? So then you want to go through, once you do that after a while, you go through the exam prep, then you want to take the next exam on Boson. It's about three exams on Boson. So you want to rip through all those exams and, and then you should incrementally get better exam by exam, right? And then after that third exam, you should do well. And if you're confident at that point, um, you've probably reached that 100 day mark, right? And you want to go in and take that exam. And if you're not ready at that point, I'm completely fine with rescheduling that exam. That's not a problem. You don't be the person who doesn't schedule exam and then just waits to schedule it. I'd rather have you schedule the exam and then reschedule it later if you're not ready versus being the person who, who doesn't schedule at all. So um, if you're not ready, just reschedule, no problem. I think you have, I don't know, I think there's like three times you can schedule until they say no more rescheduling. So it's not that big of a deal. Reschedule that exam. It's okay. And yeah, but the last thing I want you guys to remember is when you walk into that exam, walk in with confidence, right? Don't be the person who's like, I don't know if I'm ready for the exam. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Literally just walk in there. You know, you've done all the work. You've spent months upon months of training. You should be ready. Take that exam and knock it out, guys. Um, but yeah, um, that's basically how, I, how I'd get to CCNA. First thing is first is schedule that exam. If you haven't done that, you're wasting your time. Number two, get all the study material. Get a video course. Get the Boson exam templates. Uh, get Packet Tracer. Have your note cards and everything. And that's basically everything you need for that exam. And once you have all that and you're just studying every day and you don't want to miss days of studying, right? Don't be the person who's like studying, you know, five, six hours a day, grinding, you're doing well. And then you take like a break for two weeks and you just forget everything. No, I'd rather have you guys study two hours a day consistently every single day, like set two hours every day. Hey, I'm just going to focus on study, nothing else. If you do that, it's going to make a world of a difference for you. So with that being said, thank you guys for tuning in. I'm going to make more videos on how to get your CCNA, how to get a network engineering job, anything kind of network related. So feel free to subscribe and yeah, peace.